This is Outdated, and welcome back to Mass Effect. So we left off on the planet Galax. We're going to get out of here. Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we made it. I need to go somewhere to buy fuel. The best way to do that, is, the best place to do that is probably the Citadel, honestly. Um, scan for Dr. Garneau. What are you? Cerberus Lab. Speak with Corians. Investigate Missing Scout. Scan for Dr. Garneau again. Okay. I'm going to go back here to see if I can get um, fuel. I'm in desperate need of fuel. Desperate need of fuel. Wait, 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 where is it? You know what? It's not here. A fart. Um. Okay, let's try this scan for Dr. Garneau's spot. See if it has a fuel depot. It used to be there were fuel depots in basically every system. Like as soon as you drop in, hello, fuel depot, right? Okay, so there's a planet there. Planet there, planet here, planet here. No fuel depot. Well, fart. All right. Let's try a different one. It's kind of hard to do a mission when I have no fuel to do the mission, you know? Cerberus Labs. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Cerberus Labs are that way. Like, I'd have the fuel to get there. Going around in circles, looking, looking, looking. Nope, nothing. Dang. But is can I do something on the planets? Maybe Watson. Leave orbit. Darwin. Leave orbit. I'm just checking to see if there's any way to pick up some fuel. Crick. Leave orbit is a pretty odd name. Crick. Like I have a crick in my neck. Crick. Can we went and leave orbit? Okay, so a bunch of. Oh, like, not. Whoa. Did that show other things? It did. It just showed the inner orbit thing. Sorry. That's what it was. Okay. And last one. Pauling. Pauling. Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I could really use some fuel right about now. Well, what is this? Franklin? The little moon? No. Why do I think it'll send me back here at some point? Because that little moon's just kind of hiding. Scan for Garnet. We'll try this one. Sip. Mass relay. And nothing else, okay? I don't get it. Do I have to go back to the Citadel? Is that what I want to do? Let's speak with the Corian, see maybe there. It's like real life, I'm looking for gas. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do this, I guess. While we're here, let's do it. Enter orbit around the flotilla. This diplomatic frigate is like no Corian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Corians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Tally has something to do with it. <laughs> Let's see if we're, we're gonna get to see our girl. Come on, Mr. Stepper. The pleasure is to see you again, though I wish we were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Weavers. What's going on? 
17 days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. Tell me about your history. Your home world? You mean Rana? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. The Quarians were wrong. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. But you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. Invading was a mistake. You're throwing yourselves at the get? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We've driven the Geth back to their own system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth is significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in their own system. If we're going to win, we are... Wait! You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. The Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes, cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. There it is. Tally. Tally Zora Bas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Ed? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I want to help. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come soon. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Okay. Plus six paragon, plus two representation. Okay, so where do we go to hit the dreadnought? That's the question. Is it in this system? Doesn't look like it. So let's go to the mass relay and see. Oh, there it is. Disable dreadnought right there. Well, that's convenient. Geth Dreadnought? What is this? The Migrant Fleet. Geth Debris Field. Still no place to fuel up, but okay, you know what, let's just do this thing. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet 
anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy. And in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. I'm going to actually take a peek over here. Hmm. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of Geth satellites. Okay, I have nothing useful. Migrant fleet can't do anything there either. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. We're going in. After everything I did in the Geth, to the Geth in the last thing, I wonder how it's going to play in. Um, okay, Tally, you are totally coming with me. Oh, you know what? You're already set to come with me, aren't you? Okay, I don't like Olympic one then. Um, let's go with Liara. Let's do some leveling. Does Tally get to become a crew member, I wonder, um, at some point? You know, I'm pretty much going to stick with the stuff I have here. Well, you know what? I can probably mod this now. Done. Okay. How about you, Tally? With your shotgun. Oh, whoa, that didn't work. Confirm. Okay, both modded. You're already ready to go. Yeah, okay, good. So we're done there. Now here. Eight. Oh, okay, I can definitely level up at least one. Um, Let's go with frag grenade. Let's see. Increase grenade capacity by two. Increase damage to organics by 40% over 10 seconds. I'm going to actually go with that. And that's all he can do. All right, Liara. Well, a warp ammo it is. Increase health and armor damage by 7.5%. Increase barrier damage by 15%. We're going to go with that. And tally. Oh, good lord. Um, with all those points, we might as well just, like, go up to three on everything. Her combat drone was always fun. Increase drone's damage by 40%, increase drone's damage 40%, or drone explodes when destroyed to 186 points of damage across the 5 meter radius. Oh, that could be interesting. Let's do that. What is this? Increase drone's damage by 50, and drone's shields by 50. Upgrade drone's short range attack to deal 155 of damage across the 2 point The drone stuns enemies for a short period. That sounds good. Upgrade drone with long range rockets to do. Jeez! Electrical pulse to three targets. Let's do the long range rockets because that's just hilarious. Okay, let's do this. And now let's do this. Alright, now we don't have a ton of choices. Let's see. Increase recharge speed bonus by 40%, or increase health and shield bonus by 20%. We'll do that. Increase weapon damage by 20%. Increase tech power damage. You know, she's probably going to use that more. Increase recharge speed of drone powers by 50%. Increase recharge speed of squad mates tech powers by 10%. We'll do that. And she's maxed out and done. That's it. Let's do it. So, I mean, the... Games I've been. Oh, well, I'll talk here. I don't talk. We're approaching the Corian home system. Theater ran out of five miles. What have you got? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. Several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take a seat, Silver. Silver. <laughs> Self-driving game. The only way to detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Oh, jeez. 
Oh my god. This probably is a oh yeah, I can't save yet, okay. How do I do this? Um How do I do this? Oh, okay, that's how I do this. This is kinda cool though, I have to admit. Can't really run. No wonder the quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is thirty percent larger than an alliance dreadnought. You have to go around, okay. So walking in a tube. Oh god, he's hilarious. Here we go. Whoa. Was that the plan? Seriously, was that the plan? The rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not swallow the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. And here we can save. Let's just go ahead and save. And start moving through. So I'm wondering, am I going to get to see Legion here? What are you? Nothing of use, apparently. this or whoa what what is this shotgun smart choke thank you so I pays to explore no can't do that all right can't do that either let's go back around here then drop down climb up this way. There we go. Up we go. That is where I came in. 
Just making sure there's nothing else here. I don't see a way to get over there, so let's head this way. Really? You're killing me. I would rather the guess, I don't know, not know I'm here. I'm just saying. Oh god. Controls must be up here. Let's see. Docking controls. Got it. You're clear to board. Shepard. Were you worried about me? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. Huh. There, it's open. We're clear to go. What is that? Arc pistol. Okay, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and change the loadout. Let's try that. I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to actually use a pistol. But I'm going to go ahead and carry it with me. So that way, okay. Operations center. Interesting. Their anti-fighter lasers use ultraviolet frequencies. Most ships use infrared. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers caught right through our ships. Come on. Let's get to the op center before they lose more. Sniper rifle enhanced scope. Going around this way. Looking for any loot or any um, other important things. Data, that sort of thing. Nothing here. Can I make that jump? I cannot. I have to go back around. So why did I do this exactly? Hoping for loot that one. Yeah, we sure will if I can find my way around in this thing. Wait, was that? Oh, hello. Bridge control. Oh, crap. Ow. Out he is. 
Heal. Or not heal, reload. Reload, heal, what's the difference? You think? Great. Get it, drone. Looking around for useful stuff. Like ammo. Found it. Is this a doorway? No. We progress. Down. Just kind of sitting there. Got you. Anything of use over here? Not at all. But the ammo is nice. All right, let's go. Bridge control? No. Whoa, God. What was that? Ow! Keep hitting those things. How do I... I need to stop it, whatever they are. Oh, I think it might be the little fuel thing. Or the... What do you call it? Get that. The, um, ammo things. That might be what's blowing up in my face. You know what? I think we're going to stop here. This looks like a good spot to stop, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're interested, and I will see you on the next episode of Mass Effect.